everyone welcome back to the channel today I just wanted to do a bit of a different video just to quickly run through my sketchbook for Inktober I'm several months late but I went back and forth on whether or not to, to show it I'm never really happy with my art but um, I just wanted to do something a little different to break away from the pen review videos um, so for those that aren't familiar with Inktober the goal is to um, draw a pen and ink video every day. I don't usually use pen and ink. I typically use pencil. So it was something new for me and it was a struggle honestly. Um, so I just did my um, own version of Inktober. I didn't follow the social media social media prompts. Usually they prompt you to like say for October, October 4th draw an octopus or something. I didn't do that. I just drew whatever came to my mind that day. Usually from a picture on the internet or something. So let's see. This is actually um, 31st of August. I got a bit of a head start. Just some rough drawings of some pens. I think we have a Hardy pen. And I'm not sure which one, which what are those. But just some pens. Um, September 1st, a couple of vases, some paint brushes. Again, this is a, a picture from the internet. This is something I just drew. I drew, I draw vases quite a bit. And another picture on the internet, September 3rd, a wine bottle, some glasses. On the 4th, I had a fight with a can of uh, corned beef, cut a couple fingers. So this is just me being silly. I didn't actually. Um, cut my fingers off. They're, they're still there. On the 5th, I started on the 5th and I guess I finished this on the 14th of September. Some peanuts. On the 8th of September, I drew, I think this, that's a Monte Verde. Uh, first day of Inktober is a bird. Um, belly is a little off. There's a bird and a couple watermelons. 52 on. Oh, I drew twice on October 1st. I was excited. A couple of watermelons. 52 that I uh, restored. And I'm already falling off by the time we get to the second and third. There's a struggle bowl of ramen there. That doesn't look good at all. Um, some meditation rocks and some vase, a vase and a block not very good on the fifth I was celebrating the end of regular season for the Orioles we actually had a winning season so I was very happy for the Orioles as far as tools I'm just using a Mont Blanc pencil to sketch and then my Poly Elite extra fine some Posca markers these are paint markers, I think they call them. And I'll use a Tombow, Tombow, yeah, Tombow marker and a Jelly Roll white gel pen for some highlights. Here on the 6th, I am, this was a tattoo idea. My hand and my black belt, I earned a black belt in 2016 in Shorinru Karate. So just a tattoo idea that I haven't gone through. I was going to probably get that on my wrist. Haven't gone through it, through with it. Just some, some apples in a bowl. And here's a baby seal on the 8th. Another picture I just got off the internet. Some Kaweco pens. That's my, um, I think it's called the Aurora, the really dark green pen. And this is a made up. I don't have one that's blue. I think this was supposed to be the iridescent pearl. On the tenth, we have a duck. On the eleventh, I drew my new Waterman's uh, pen that I bought off eBay that needed a lot of restoration. So to celebrate the restoration, I drew this. It's, it's kind of wonky. I need to get my line straight. On the 12th, we have a guinea pig, also from the internet. And 
and on the 13th we have a Macintosh 1502 tube amp just random it was a struggle for me to come up with something to draw every day so I ran out of paper in that sketchbook on the 17th we have a F1 car the 18th we have my drum set I have a Tama Imperial Star drum set so I'm just drawing that 19th, I drew my Visconti Homo Sapiens Star Crystal. On the 22nd, I also drew some pins for fun. On the 22nd, I drew this picture of the penguin this actually came from an article I saw on CNN that was celebrating the funniest um, photos animal photos of the year so this is actually a real based on a real photo of two penguins um, this one was like not having it so I had to draw that when I saw that picture 23rd, I drew a picture of a country store with an old school gasoline tank. I think this picture is from Pexels.com. And you can go and get royalty free photos to use on your internet site, your website, or whatever you want to use it for. And this is supposed to be Rust. But this country store. On 24th, I drew a bottle glass set commemorating the um, USS Enterprise from Star Trek I'm not sure what happened with this glass it's all it's all off-center and another vase and an apple and here I'm really struggling to find something to draw around the end of the month this is on the 26 a hot sauce bottle and some peppers Again, I remember this. This was after band practice, and it was late. Uh, I drew a um, Leonardo Mento Zero and a bottle of Diamond Ink. I think this is Aurora Borealis. The bottle was all off there. See, I said boo. But I tried. On the 28th, we have Eric Cartman. Cartman from, uh, you already say Star Trek, from South Park. Uh, my John X1, I'm really running out of energy at this point, so I drew another pen. On the 30th, I drew a lighthouse. And the 31st, I drew a bus going over the, um, what is the Thames Bridge in London. And that was the end of Inktober for me. I was exhausted by that point between band practice and trying to draw every day. November 16th, just a random block. Uh, this is Birmingham Pen Company Inc. I was just testing um, how waterproof or not it was. And another uh, drawing with some Birmingham Pen Company E, just drawing another vase and some apple, and an apple. Um, I, I'm not sure what ink this was, but just doing some experimentation with uh, watercolors. And that is my sketchbook for Inktober with a little August and September thrown in there. But uh, that's all I have for today. Just wanted to do a, something a little different since this did start out as an art channel. But as always, uh, thank you all for, for watching and taking the time out of your day to comment and uh, provide me with some encouragement. So until next time, I hope you're all doing well and I'll catch you next time.